Okay, uh, Mr. Manish Chand, uh, the G20, you know, opportunity that India has taken so much pride in. Do you think China is uh, gotten a hold, uh, you know, of some aspects where it can dilute the purpose with which this G20 congregation and summit is being uh, processed? and you know uh, talked about throughout the world because it is an embarrassing situation for china what's going on at home in terms of its economy and in terms of uh, you know the topics that it has failed to represent uh, you see uh, i don't quite agree that you know that china has the power to uh, to wreck india g20 presidency really because china g20 operates by consensus and China is just one big power, but there are others as well. And uh, rest of the world, I mean, Russia is a different story because of Ukraine. Uh, but Russia is otherwise aligned with India on all other important issues. So what we have is 18 on, on one side and two on the other side. And that too, half. I mean, Russia's problem is basically Russia's issue is primarily because of Ukraine. So let me just uh, say this, that India G20 presidency has acquired such a global traction. It is largely seen as a transformational moment in the evolution of the grouping. It is also the, the second presidency by an emerging economy after Indonesia. And uh, the way India has been speaking, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi and all our top leaders, uh, including uh, External Affairs Minister Jay Shankar, India has branded in its presidency as a global, as a force of global public good, and that has resonated widely. Number two, India has also projected itself as a spokesperson, as a spoke, as a as a voice of the global South. And right now, you see, I was at the BRICS summit in Johannesburg uh, a few days ago, last week, uh, a week ago. And there is such a powerful, there was also an Africa outreach. India is pushing for the induction of the African Union uh, as a permanent member in the G20. India is pushing for pioneering initiatives in terms of digital public infrastructure and, uh, you know, on the concept of life, lifestyle for sustainable environment. So, you know, what is sadly what is happening is because of geopolitical games by a, a small clique, the larger transformative agenda of India G20 presidency is somehow or other, there's an attempt to diminish it. But, you know, there are other major powers which are standing behind India. Uh, you know, uh, before the G20 summit starts, uh, President Biden will be in India and uh, President Biden will be holding talks with Prime Minister Modi. Uh, right. G7 again has some issues with uh, uh, on the Ukraine issue, but it is very broadly, very positively predisposed towards... You're absolutely right, sir. Pranay Agarwal yeah. is also back with us. Pranay. Right. 